Welcome back to Freely Blooming with Kaylee. I had to show you one of my favorite places to get really good, healthy ingredients. Something or a place that you may not have ever even heard of before. I know I had never heard of it for a really long time. I had thought about jumping in for a few years to using Azure Standard and I'm so mad that nobody just told me, hey, this is what all you can get from Azure Standard. It's an awesome resource and it's a great place to save money on some bulk items and some really healthy items while also supporting small local farms and smaller companies. So I'm standing in my kitchen. I had to show you. I was unboxing my Azure Standard order. Here it is. You see, I have some like 25 pound bags of feed and stuff for animals that aren't showing, but I'll talk about it here in a second. And I'll talk about why I love Azure Standard so much. Okay, I'm just gonna sit in my kitchen floor. This is my favorite place to unbox my Azure Standard order because obviously it all goes in the kitchen, bending down, standing back up, all that good stuff. I'm just gonna chill here for a second. I'm gonna adjust this. I'm gonna chill here and just gonna show you what I got this month. So Azure Standard is an online store. Basically, it's, it's a co-op style store where there's tons of volunteers involved. They have a lot of really great name brands you may have heard before, like Jovial Einkorn Products. They do have Late July. They have, um, you know, just tons of other, other really great brands that you would see at your local health food store or grocery store. They also have ingredients and items sourced from local farms all or for small local farms all around the country. And it's really awesome because they go and purchase these products from these smaller family owned farms and then sell them and ship them all over the country. But it's not, you know, it's not this big importation thing happening. I love Azure Standard because the prices really are amazing. This isn't in any way, shape or form a paid or sponsored video. I just really, really love it. And I just want to share because I wish somebody would have shared with me what all I could get from Azure Standard. It has made our lives a ton easier as far as sourcing really great priced, healthy ingredients. So I'm gonna show you what all I got this month. Okay, I did get quite a few cans of diced tomatoes. This is something else that you can get from them. I One thing I really, really want to do this year in my garden is to be able to can my own tomatoes so I can have diced tomatoes or tomato sauce or anything like that on hand. I'm not quite there yet. So as of right now, I'm still buying canned diced tomatoes. I really, really wish I didn't or had a different way to get diced tomatoes, but as of right now, I stocked up. Now, Azure Standard is a once a month ordering system. You shop what you need all month long. You order and you find what you need, you order and then you go to your drop site. If you plug in your zip code, you can find where in your area that they ship to. Basically, they tell you a time and a day. You show up in the parking lot of say, the Lowe's 10 minutes away, which is where mine is at. And then they unload all of your stuff and you load it and you go home. It's really cool because it's bulk shopping, but it just does take a little bit more planning because it, it is a once a month thing. Now, the longer I've done it over the last couple of months, I have realized what all I can get and what all I need to stock up on and the things that we would really like to have at home. And maybe things that you may not really think of buying in bulk or it may not even be in bulk, but like diced tomatoes. I got, I got three cans of diced tomatoes. I think I ordered six and some of them may have gone out of stock, but um, organic diced tomatoes. I also got these egg noodles, traditional homemade non-GMO egg noodles. I got a couple of bags of these just to have on hand for kind of a little bit of an easier meal. I did get some Thai, some um, organic Thai jasmine rice. I really love jasmine rice because it's smaller grained and it cooks super fast. It only cooks for four minutes in the Instant Pot. Now they do have really cool brands like Nancy's. I do love some of their dairy products because they are cultured. That means they have tons of probiotics and tons of really great bacteria and things that are awesome for your gut. So I got some cultured sour cream. I got a large thing of um, mushrooms. This is, I have a meal plan, meal planned out for those egg noodles and mushrooms are definitely involved. I did get a large uh, bag. I got five pounds of 
pure baking soda. Not only do I clean with baking soda, I also feed it to my goats because it's really good for their, um, their digestive system. And it's great just to have on hand for baking and all sorts of stuff. I'm tired of having to go buy these little bitty boxes of baking soda. So I got five pounds of baking soda. I also got organic flax seeds. Flax seeds are so, so good for you. They are so easy to use in different, you know, in baking different things. I'll grind them up. Actually my coffee grinder to use as flaxseed meal when a recipe calls for it. I also put it in my recipe for homemade chicken feed. I got a couple of pounds of organic onions. I got three pounds of organic sweet potatoes. I was able to get some organic toasted sesame oil. Now this is a brand, the Napa Valley Naturals. This is a brand you'll probably find at one of your local stores. I got some MCT oil. I love to use MCT oil for putting in my smoothies or for making bulletproof coffee. I got some canned olives. Uh, my kids actually love to snack on olives and as do I. Such a good, healthy snack. I got some lemons for baking and different things. Um, once I started making my own applesauce and apple butter, I realized a lot of the recipes call for a little bit of lemon juice. So it's good to have on hand. I think this is one thing I was most excited about. Alexander Daily, or sorry, Alexander Family Farm. A2A2, if you've never heard of A2 dairy cows, something to research and look into. Heavy cream, super excited. I actually got four bottles of heavy cream because this is what I like to use in my coffee. I got a couple of bottles of avocado oil. I got a nice large bottle of red wine vinegar. We use red wine vinegar for multiple things. I have made, you know, some marinated red onions with it. I have made tons of dressings. Um, one of my new favorite things, <laughs> new favorite things to make and to have on hand is coleslaw. I know it sounds like a weird thing to have on hand all the time, but I I'm a little bit obsessed with the homemade coleslaw that I make. A good friend of mine shared a recipe that she uses, started making it, kind of tweaked it to make it my own, and red wine vinegar is a good ingredient for that. Also got a little bit of baking powder, and I did get a couple cans of tomato paste. When I make tacos, I make my own um, saucy, I guess taco meat, I don't use any packages or anything. I mix together taco seasoning and it also involves um, tomato paste. So I like to always have that on hand because I normally have ground beef on hand. And so I get, I get to use it in you know, tacos, which is typically about once a week. Ghee, if you have never cooked with ghee, it's such a good healthy fat. Basically it's clarified butter. And if you're doing some sort of elimination diet, um, ghee is clarified butter, which basically the butter is boiled to a point where all of the um, solids rise to the top and you're less left with the butter oil. So if you're on some sort of diet or Whole30, something that, that eliminates dairy, you can still cook with ghee, still get that butter flavor. It's a really, really great cooking oil. It's so good. Maple syrup, I did get organic maple syrup. Um, I normally get this in a 64 ounce glass jug. <laughs> it's a lot of maple syrup, but between pancakes and waffles, and I naturally sweeten most things that I make instead of using white processed sugar, um, I use it with, you know, I use maple syrup with that. So this is a really great thing to have on hand. A really, really great price point because organic maple syrup can get more expensive. Here's the rest of my tomato paste. <laughs> Apparently I got six cans of tomato paste because I love my tacos. Now this is, we love to have frozen fruit on hand, especially in the winter when fruit is not really in season and costs more. So this is organic frozen wild blueberries. I think it is a five, five pound bag of it. Love to have them on hand to put in. I'll use them straight frozen and put them in, you know, the kids oatmeal or I'll cook cobblers with them. And then I got five pounds of frozen strawberries. I love to have these on hand, like I said, for different things, for making cobblers or whatever else, a healthy, healthy snack. The kids will just eat them straight frozen out of the freezer. And I love to have them on hand for smoothies because sometimes when you're really, really busy, it's really easy to make a super healthy smoothie really quickly. And that's what's for dinner. Now I have to show you. My husband loves to do yogurt bowls. He does Greek yogurt bowls, not only sometimes for breakfast or when he's on the go for like a really good snack. And he's constantly asking me to buy him granola. And he's constantly getting mad that the kids are eating all his granola. 
So I got a giant five pound bag of maple pecan granola. Hopefully he likes it, um, cause there's a lot of it. And maybe, hopefully this will last him for the month. They also have really great, you know, bread products and things. Um, I love to have bagels on hand every once in a while. It's not something we indulge in all the time. And I'm definitely going to be trying to make some sourdough bagels myself. I have yet to do it. Um, have a broken oven currently, but that's something that is on my list. So I got these sprouted cinnamon raisin bagels. If you've never heard about sprouted flour or why it's better for you, I'm gonna be talking about that soon. But I'm really excited about these cinnamon raisin bagels. Now, something else that I did not show was I got a 50, 50 pound bag of organic non-GMO soy free chicken feed. Now I do make my own chicken feed, but I also like to supplement with another kind of layer feed just for ease. And when we go out of town, we have somebody who helps with our chickens and instead of soaking their feed all night, it's a lot of work for somebody else. That way they can easily feed them that. I also got ingredients to make my chicken feed like organic split peas. I think I got a 25 pound bag and I also got a 50 pound bag of organic whole barley, which is another ingredient I use in chicken feed. Now I have found so many different ingredients and so many different things from Azure Standard. It's been so helpful for me and the way I like to eat. And with, you know, the diet, we really, really try to stick to whole foods and whole ingredients. And Azure Standard has been a really, really great resource for me in saving lots of money. Those big bulk stories, I kind of stopped going to this last year anyway, but what's awesome about Azure Standard is that you pay a little bit for shipping and depending on where your drop is, most of the time there's no drop fee. I don't pay a drop fee. You get Azure Standard cash back to apply to every order. Every single time I've ordered, I've gotten anywhere from six to $8 that I can apply to the next one. And um, you get more of that if you, if you purchase any of their Azure market products, say like these flax seeds, which are coming from um, small family farms. Now the prices are insane. They're so good, it's so easy. It's once a month bulk shopping. Do a little bit of planning ahead, maybe a little bit of meal planning. Figure out what you like to have on hand. Now, as far as produce goes, goes they do sell produce. I've gotten 25 pound you know, bags of carrots before. I've gotten 25 pounds of apples before. It's really important when you are bulk shopping to really realize what you will use before it goes bad. And I've had some of those carrots go bad, but for the most part, carrots are a storage crop and they do hold and have stored very, very well. I'm actually still using them two months later and they're still good. So Azure Standard is awesome. I love, love, love this resource. And I really just wanted to share it with you because it's been really helpful for my family in sourcing really healthy, good ingredients. I can have, you know, you have it shipped, you go pick it up once a month. It's been so helpful. So I really hope this is helpful, helpful for you. Now, if you're interested in seeing really if Azure Standard is for you, I will post the link in the comments below and, or in the description below. And that way you can give it a try. If you have any questions, shoot me a question, shoot me a comment. That way I can answer. They do have so many products and I'm so excited for you to give them a try.